What up, folks? Welcome back to Ultra Zill Toys, and today I have a review of the Bandai Shokugan 66 Action Mega Man Series 1. Quick, quick aside, guys, before we get into the review proper, adding this in at the end. Uh, I did find out upon putting the video together that there is actually a chase variant, a red chase variant of Mega Man uh, that comes with uh, Rush. So uh, I did not get that because it's a chase and I, I, I guess it's randomly packed somehow. Uh, didn't know about it, but these guys are the main guys. So just wanted to add that in there because I do say this is the full wave. And I guess it's kind of not. So, yeah, there you go. Don't have it. Probably won't be getting it. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Back into the review we go. Enjoy. All right, I got some wee little guys here for my latest review. Uh, a four-in-one. Yeah, because sometimes I do that. So, we got these uh, little Bandai Shokogan figures. Uh, they're like, you know, really mini figures, little... Little box figures, you know, um, kind of like mystery box figures, except except uh, they're all printed on the box. Who's who? So perfect. You don't have to uh, get a million of them to get the ones you want. These are the guys available in Wave One of the Mega Man series, and I, since I love Mega Man, I was really anxious to get these, um, but uh, I hadn't seen them. Uh, in store since the first time I saw them at Toys R Us, and then they were gone. So I was a little bummed out about that, and I kind of forgot about them, but uh, this weekend I found them in a local store at a good price, about eight ninety nine each. I could deal with that, so I, I picked up a lot of them. So very, very cool. We got, oh, we got Mega Man. I'm still getting used to my, <laughs> my workspace here. Um, we got Mega Man. We got Mega Man X. We have uh, Mega Man dot X E X E uh, battle something or other battle 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 station battlefront. Where is the box? Battle Network. Never ever ever played that one. I did see that there was a Sentinel uh, one five four inchinal version of that one and Rock Volnut who I really really like and don't have a figure of um, so I'm really excited to get that one probably more than anything because I love love Rock Volnut in um, uh, Capcom versus Tatsunoko awesome awesome figure that's that's my experience with that dude so pretty cool pretty pretty cool these are really little I'm gonna show you how little right now we're gonna do some quick size comparisons and get them out of the way that is uh, NX Edge um, Mega Man X the four inch and all um, Mega Man and uh, who do we have here who do we have here? Some little guys. Is Chippendale and there's um, a Rocket Raccoon. So as you can see, tiny, smaller than all of these small figures. So there you go. That's my size comparisons for these guys. Uh, now we're gonna start to take a look at them. Let's start out with the man, Mega Man. And uh, it's pretty cool. These are all really cool, I gotta say. You know, just, I mean, just take it in. Look at, take a look. For something so small, they're really, really detailed. You know, like, pretty much as detailed as the four inch and all, and I stopped collect. I, I bought one of these guys, uh, and that was it because it's too expensive for what you get here. I like this, but nah, wasn't for me. But this is awesome. Mega Man's a little guy for me, so I like getting little Mega Man, and it's you know it's perfect. I mean the sculpt is really nice. His uh, little Buster Cannon looks great. Really, really cool. Like the yellow and the red there. Head sculpt is really nice. The eyes are uh, totally tampo printed and they look great. You know, even the lines underneath. The mouth looks good. Helmet is pretty good. 
I got a little bit of slot there, but come on, it's a, t it's a tiny figure. Now, the one thing that's annoying is the hands come on these like sprue things. They're not really well made and you popping them off, you get these marks underneath. Uh, so that is unfortunate, but otherwise the look is really good. The paint is fine. Uh, it just looks nice. It's a really good Mega Man. It's even sculpted on the bottom of the foot, so pretty pretty awesome i really don't have any complaints except for that and the fact that like most of these guys um they pop out of their joints really easy i mean they're like little ball joints so it is what it is it's tiny about two and a half inches tall um so <laughs> you're not expecting the world here uh, but let's look at the articulation heads on that ball joint you got a good range of movement in there these shoulders are on ball joints as well so nice range of motion. There is a bicep swivel, um, but man, because of the shoulders, they can turn. Oh, that, that comes out as well, uh, but it's really tough. You got a single jointed elbow, and then um, you can rotate the wrist a little bit. You got rotation at the waist. A little bit, I think a little bit back and forth. I think it should be a ball joint in there. Um, then ball jointed hips for decent motion, single jointed hinged knee, and then a big ball jointed, see ball joint there, foot. So you get, you know, uh, enough motion there for really good posability. Um, and that's pretty awesome. For such a little thing, it's pretty great. You do get a little energy canister here, an E canister, I think they're energy, if I remember correctly. You know, uh, this is what comes with Mega Man here. So that's pretty cool. Next, we have Mega Man X looking really sharp, really nice. Check that out. Take it all in. Feet are sculpted pretty good. The ba bottom, you know, I mean, that's just a ball joint, but it does work as a like, kind of looks like a little like blaster there. So got the ball jointed feet. We're going to do the articulation upwards. Again, so you got the single jointed knee, ball jointed hips, waist articulation. Oh, his hand flew off. But that's what it looks like there. So you can see. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, now we know. It is. It is um, a nice ball joint in there. So there you go. Let's see, where's his arm? There we go. All right, so there you go. <laughs> see this guy, this guy is falling apart. So you know what, it's good to see this, so you know what you're getting into. All right, okay. <laughs> Waist, ah! The uh, shoulder's on big ball joints, but it's kind of hindered on this one, so you can really get some rotation. Um, then we got the, uh, man, I'm all messed up because of this. The bicep swivel, the single jointed elbow, and the rotation at the wrist. Yeah, this guy, more than anybody, he looks really nice, but he definitely falls apart easy. Uh, and then a bit ball jointed head. So, yeah. So it wasn't at the waist, it's at his abs that you rotate. That's what I made the mistake before. I was trying to rotate it at the waist and it popped out. But the overall look, like I'm saying, is really nice. The head sculpt looks really good. I like the green eyes, looks really sharp, really nice. Helmet looks decent enough. I like the red, red there. And the red at the ears, it looks pretty good. The Buster Cannon looks really nice. Very, very cool. Well done. Chest looks good. Boy, that's annoying. Um, oh, my God. Chest looks good. <laughs> Don't move this guy around that much. Uh, and the feet look pretty sharp as well. So, um, nice look. Really <laughs> not great um, as far as falling apart. He does come with... Another fist here, a little uh, fist there. He has the one of these uh, deals. 
forgot what this is called, the dash effect. So there you go. So that's pretty cool, little dash effect action. You know? It's a nice translucent green, like an emerald green plastic. Pretty cool. Very nice little effect piece. Really big, actually. You know, definitely adds value to this. So makes him a little better, and you, since he's a little, a little messed up. Let's look at Rock Volnet, who I said I really like from uh, uh, Tatsunoku vs. Capcom. A really awesome Wii game that I I really enjoy. Um, I still still really enjoy. <laughs> Head sculpt looks really good on Rock. I like his eyes. Really really big eyes. Um, shaped very differently so, from the other Mega Man's. Uh, hair looks pretty good. I like the shape of it. it. Looks very nice. Very very nice backpack here. It looks really good. Uh, orange and the gray work very well together. Really cool. Um, body looks nice. Gray blues. I mean, they really for something so small, they really didn't skimp out. Honestly, you know. Legs look good. Really nice sculpt there. I always dug how this looked. Um, very different. Really cool. Very nice there. Nice armor, you know. Just dig it. The good sculpt all around. I mean, I just like this character's design a lot. So really much smaller Buster. It's really different. Um, a lot of little pew pew pews from from this one. Um, so pretty cool though. I wish there was like a little bit of a hint there of uh, something. And his hand fell off somewhere. Somewhere. Where are you? There you be. Okay. But pretty cool. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking figure. Heads on the ball joint. Ball joint. Good range of motion. The uh, bicep swivel that I'm not going to try to turn too much here. Single joint and elbow. You can ro rotate the wrist. Um, like X. His uh, is at the... His motion is at the ab there. A little, a little, a little crunchy there. Ball jointed hips. Single jointed knee. Slight built, bit of rotation in there too. And then the ball jointed uh, foot, but this one's really a lot tighter on mine. So a little less motion in uh, rock here. So, yeah, it is what it is. Still uh, get him to stand pretty good. And that is cool. Um, let's see, which are his it's hard to tell <laughs> whose is whose. This is his, yes, this is his hand, which is sculpted very, very nicely. Really dig that. Really cool. Kind of robotic-y. Uh, robotic so that is very nice. Uh, he also comes with this little, uh, I believe they're like ser servo bots. There you go. Let's see if I have, I have the boxes here. Rock Walnut. Serve bot, yes. Very nice, nice little PVC little figure. Uh, clear yellow plastic, but <laughs> sculpted pretty well. Looks pretty good, I like it. <laughs> I, I like it a lot actually. So nice little piece for Rock there. And then finally we have um, this dude, which uh, I don't, uh, you know, I don't have any experience with this one, the uh, XE Battle Battle Network X X E X E Battle Network dot E X E Battle Network. He comes with a sword. Um, that's his a little extra um, in the package. You can use. That's not the right one. Uh, a fist hand. So uh, instead. Oh no! Actually, I'm sorry. You have an extra little buster here. Which let's look at that really quick. You can see it's actually painted a little light blue inside, and there it goes. So, but you could switch it easily there. Oh no, that's the wrong side. How about that? Um, that's what it looks like. Red. So let's let's do that. It's simple. So you can see what it looks like. There you go. So really nice. This is the most like like I don't know like regular like human esque just jumpsuit type feel for uh, Mega Man. I don't care for it that much. 
And it could be just because I haven't played it. Um, so I think it's a, it might be a mobile game. I could be wrong. It could be a card game. It could be something. I, I don't even know. You guys let me know what this battle network is. I, I really don't know. I haven't done any research on it. But it's okay. Um, you know, I just want them to have them all. So, and, like, I feel like it's a little sloppy, too. Like, his helmet is a little sloppy on this one. I mean, the design is cool, but definitely a little sloppy there. Face looks all right. Not so bad. But, I mean, if you told me this wasn't Mega Man, I'd believe you, too. The hair comes out in the back. That's pretty cool. He's got a little, little jetpack-looking thing on the back. Armor here looks good. I like the little centerpiece. That's nice. The, uh... The nice like seafoam green on the sides is really really a nice touch too. This is kind of like a like a dark purple, like blue purplish middle here, which is not a bad look. And then the feet really just look like boots, you know, like not really very Mega Man esque. But I guess it works. It works okay, you know. Heads on the ball joint. You have a uh, waist rotation. Ball joint did. Elbows, he feels really tight though, that's really nice. Rotation there, hinge there, then uh, the uh, hands move. He does come with another hand as we saw before, another the fist hand, uh, ball jointed legs, very tight also, very nice. Oh, how about I stay in frame? Single, uh, single jointed knee, and then ball jointed foot for an okay range of motion. Like it's funny that the bigger feet got more range of motion, so. And then as you saw, he does ooh, come with the really cool uh, sword attachment as his extra. And I really dig that, that looks very nice. Uh, if I could just get him all situated here. That is very, very nice. That's a different look. And that is very cool, like little translucent plastic there. So, you know, they all have a little something extra. And he is, is, is an actual weapon, which I, I, I dig a lot. You know, like I would have liked a little, little blast effect here instead of the energy for Mega Man. But he comes with a nice sword, a little energy sword. So that's pretty cool. Really dig it. All right, guys. And that is my review. They're pretty cool for what they are, for sure. Um really tiny figures but very nice and uh, you know some you know Mega Man X falls apart a lot but and they all seem to like come apart at the joints somewhat um because they're just small small joints and you know big hands here will will uh will have some problems with it but otherwise, if you're a fan of Mega Man, these are really cool. These are my first uh, Bandai Shotogun type figures, I believe. Uh, I might have gotten something else down the line at some point, but I can't recall it right now. Um, but yeah, I, I dig them. Pretty cool. All right, guys, so that's all I got. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps. Quick uh, quick addendum. Battle uh, XE here comes, uh, Battle Network here comes with a little foot thing. Not exactly sure why um what that does so if you know let me know i'm not exactly sure what it does there is a little peg on it as well i'm guessing you could just peg his weapon maybe i, I don't know i don't know if that's what it's supposed to do but everybody's getting knocked down but yeah there you go okay <laughs> there it is